How you doing? Hope you've had a good week. Uh, just came off of Memorial Day weekend. Had a happy birthday party for my son. And check this out. Am I still in some pain? Yes, towards the front. Is it getting better? 100% yes. I finally, finally, after four weeks of going to a DO, got her to understand there is like an ice pick poking at the back of my shoulder blade. And this weekend when we had the birthday party and I was, I, I didn't go all out. I remember how I used to be able to put together birthday parties 20 years ago for my daughter. And that's how I want to do it. <laughs> but I'm coming up on my 49th birthday soon. I am no longer that person, or I don't have to be that person. I got a lot going on. So we had two friends over. We had order out and I made a salad and we bought the cake and everything was fine. I went to the store and got fruit. Most of the fruit was already taken care of, cut up. Like half of it was, the other half, I just had to clean <clears throat> and put in jars. Look at me grow. So before I got this appointment, and this blade, this stabbing ice pick in this shoulder blade fixed, I was putting together the birthday party. Went grocery shopping in the morning, which is fine. I can lean on a cart. And I went to a very small store that has everything that I need, like right in one space. So I didn't have to go through the whole store, even though it's only, it was a city store. So it's only as big as like a like a European market. I should say a Western European market because those are the only ones I've been in. A Western European market like Germany, France, Netherlands. Uh, those are about the size, because they're neighborhood markets, right? And they're about the size of maybe three, two to three of our convenience stores, like the corner convenience store. Got all I needed, came home, and rested and then in the evening I put together food and really I only had to wash a few vegetables like a couple pounds of blueberries and a couple pounds of strawberries that's all I had to wash and then I just had to stay in one spot and cut up I made a balalia bala, bala, salad there we go <laughs> um, it's a Mediterranean salad that's like lemon and olive oil and various peppers dressing and then uh, like pepper like dried spicy pepper and then you cut up bell peppers uh, cucumbers you know garbanzo beans a couple types of olives uh, mint parsley you name it. there's something else in there I don't remember anyway so I was making that <clears throat> And I turned to put that away and all of a sudden my hips locked and I couldn't move. I was so worried. But now, raise the roof. I'm getting there. Yay. So this is where we're at with this. <laughs> it's a little disorganized, but I'm working through food uh, at this point. So um, these are just kind of the, this is kind of the cracker area. And the, and the treat area. Um, be up there. I still, uh, I still have not found a step ladder that I like, so that's becoming a problem. <laughs> but um, like snacks, treats are here. I'm gonna put nuts here um, because that's my snacks and treats. Um, also, we use them for salads and things. Um, this is the baking shelf. One of you made a brilliant comment, and that's how I always wanted my kitchen set up. But, um, like I had a baking area over there, 
and my KitchenAid and all that's over there. But it, it's too messy. It's too messy and there's not enough room for everything that I need to bake and it gets too messy and that space over there I also need, um, I think I need, it's the larger area where like larger jars or larger appliances would fit. So I, I'm in a conundrum. I'm going to ask you guys for your opinion. But I love the comment about the baking, you know, having stations in your kitchen. I wish I could do that. But we have so little space for like dishes to be in one area by the dishwasher and um, you know, like appliances to be in one cabinet and something else to be in another. And I have pared down what I can of my appliances and um, I don't have enough cabinet space for what I would like to keep. So there's that. And um, my husband likes using some pans or he likes using some kind of storage things and I loathe them but I have to keep them. We're just gonna have two separate ways of doing things and that's fine. So, um, and I hate to say goodbye to all my Pyrex, but like if I'm not using my Pyrex, maybe they need to go to a home that will use them. I don't know. It won't be a big loss because I thrifted it all or people gave it to me. So, you know, we're talking like maybe, maybe I spent $30 on Pyrex, maybe. So anyway, um, so I put all my baking stuff here, except I, I started cleaning out the cabinet a little bit, but that's where I ran into trouble. And then I'm like, oh, I'm going to ask, I'm going to put it out and crowdsource some ideas. So this is my baking shelf, not pretty, but I'm still learning like what types of packages to buy that will fit in my half gallon jars so that I don't have this issue of, oh, you bought a five pound bag or you bought, yeah, you bought a five pound bag, but two of these get filled up with one of these and um, you still have, you know, I don't want to deal with it. So I'm still learning what size package fits. Um, but yeah, I put all my baking stuff here. Um, this needs to find a new home once I find one. Um, then another person suggested, great idea, um, taking and making a shelf for things that are about to expire. So I did that. And then I've also been using this for food that we'll eat during the week or things we're going to bake. So I have this little space. I really want to get rid of this and, and put it somewhere else. I'm hoping once the soups dwindle down, I can do that and put, put this somewhere else. So I have a little bit more room if this stays my baking shelf, but I started, um, well, I didn't label those, but I started labeling shelves, um, moved all my tomato items. Oh, look at that. I hid that in there. And that should not be there. Okay. I'll just put this over here for now. Okay. So this is like lots of my tomatoes and sauces, um, which I suppose if it's sauces we're talking about, we should put all the sauces over there, right? Okay. There's Asian sauces. Okay. Excellent. So there we go. There's all my sauces. Maybe, just maybe, not sure, just maybe, broth should go there. I, I had been buying boxes of broth. And another person had suggested in comments, I'm sorry I'm so bad at getting back to comments. Um, someone had suggested in comments that there should be another space in my home to hold food. And there is caveat. <laughs> uh, we made a storage over in our shop once COVID hit and we were buying things 
a, you know, month's worth or two months at a time. So they're over there. Not only is it challenging because if I'm leaving, my son gets really upset because he does, he's ha going through the attachment stage. When he does get outside, um, it's a 50-50 chance that he's going to run. And not only can I not really run after him right now, but um, when he runs, he runs to the road. So I'm purposefully not shopping in cases anymore to put over in our shop. Um, not only so that I can keep my son and I safe right now, um, but also because it's kind of, it, it kind of proved to me during COVID, if it's out of sight, it's out of mind. It's just like these things. Everything gets so full and in front, out of sight, out of mind. So I need to make sure I have less of things first and keep a good inventory of what I have. And then I can, and, and really kind of train myself like this week. I, when I went to the market, I saw they had artichokes on sale <laughs> and I mean, it was like a dollar off a jar. And so I said, oh my gosh, I should stock up. And I put three in my cart and I walked away and then I stopped at the end of the aisle and said, wait a minute, you have one more at home already. I remember seeing it in the pantry up here. You only need two if you double a salad recipe that you use it in and you don't normally do that. So go put two of those back. <laughs> so I did that. And those are the things, those are the habits that are gonna need to take over for me to be able to make, you know, this situation work a little bit better before I can start like purchasing cases of things again. Kind of like this issue, you know, like I bought this huge, stupid five pound bag of flour because that was the only size that they came in at the store. But if I order from my grocery co-op, I can get them in 30 ounce ones. 30 ounce uh, bag fits in this half gallon. So I would rather buy it from my grocery co-op than buy this and have, you know, where is all the, they have to keep track of four jars or three and a half jars or whatever it is of flour. My question, I wonder, cause I normally buy broth right now. I'm wondering if I should, like, is that too full? I think it kind of is for right now. But once I use up things and don't keep as much of tomatoes and things, then I wonder if this could be like tomatoes, sauce, and broth. That might be kind of handy. Or tomatoes, sauce, and condiments. Maybe that might be handy. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. So, um,. I know, I know that I want like a jam, some applesauce, peanut butter, Nutella. I know I want that kind of a shelf up here. So then maybe, maybe like canned fruit and breakfast items like hash go with that. And then I have another idea that I want to do um, where, like right now I don't have any space for grains. Um, maybe those go on the bottom. Because I want to make, one of the things I want to do is make a shelf for my son because he has always had access to his own cups and plates and snacks and things, but they've been laid out or they've been in his play kitchen. The play kitchen is moving into the living room where play things go. So I want to make him his own shelf so that he can come and see, oh, here's a plate for me and here's some snacks for me. But then that way he has his own space. He has his own cabinet he can come to and help himself when he needs snacks. And, and he needs to get a drink of water or something like that. Hello. 
What else do you have to say this morning? I think that's what I'm going to, I'm going to work on inventorying this today and setting up his shelf. And then one other question, if I can crowdsource a question. So I don't know if you can see it. I don't know. Eh, okay, so I started using this middle shelf here for jars, for storage jars. I have some up here too, I, because they won't fit there. Um, but I also put, put one of my appliances down there. So my question was, if I, I, need, I need a spot for my red pot, I have a big red pot that's gonna go down here. And then I have my blender that I need to find a home. I was clearing out the baking cabinet because the blender will fit in that. But then I wondered, maybe I should just keep all the appliances together? But whenever I want to use the blender, then I'll have to come over here and get it and put it on, cab on the counter. So I'm kind of wondering, I think maybe it needs to go up there. We'll see. Yeah, we have baskets of apples and onions our bread and bananas and I just haven't cleaned this stuff off yet. <laughs> this will be free and clear. And then I have my cards for my chores. So I'm, I'm liking it. So this is where I need help. So I cleaned out this cabinet already. What a and I actually think I need to take the ziplocs and put them down one and move these up there because it's hard for me to reach up there. But so all those came from back here on the counter. But taking all that stuff out resulted in this box. And I mostly jars like this. So um, they won't fit in my spice drawer. Which also needs to be cleaned up. So, hello. So I keep like bread pans and other things up there. I'm not really sure. Some of those things up there I think can get tossed. This is way too much sugar. We don't need that much sugar. And this has to stay in here this, because it is too big to fit. It could fit in here, but not with this. So, um, I already have like my spray oil in the back. Does it, does it fit back there even? No, oh, it does. Okay, that problem solved. Never mind. So this is back open again. Um, I don't really like how crowded that is, but that problem is solved and now I have, I wonder what I should do with this. Because I was wondering, I was wondering what I should do with these too. Um, I do, I usually kept these measuring cups up here. Um, and then like all the Ziplocs, they were up on our refrigerator top and that's not a good thing. They were in a big basket on our refrigerator. So I took that down. Um, I was just trying to figure out like what to do with these. This is about an inch, my, my blender is about an inch too tall. and an inch too long to be able to fit in this cabinet if I lower this down or if I set it this way. So I, I, I'm not sure yet. I do like this drawer, having my spices like this because I can pull it out while I'm cooking and just go through what I need and I really do like that efficiency. But then I'm wondering if I should get one of those risers those organizing risers and put
put it in here and put like honey and um, the other, the jars of I'm not sure what I should do. This, this seems to fit up here, so that might not be a good idea. But then, like, this is like cocoa powder, grains. But, like, see, these need to go in the snacks. Just all kinds of things like that. It's, I'm just a little bit confused about what, what I need to do, and I'm tired of all the boxes around. <laughs> And I feel like that should be over in the baking section, but then already I've outgrown my baking section. <laughs> it's just gonna take a little while to get, <laughs> get used to things. I think we're just gonna work on my son's area. I'm going to take these boxes, or these bags of grains over and put them in the grain area. But see, like, this is what I do. I was making muffins, and they were a new recipe, and they required blending oats to make your flour. Oh, well, then I should buy three things of oats, because I'm going to be making those muffins. I don't think I've made the muffins since December. the shelf now. Okay. So many things that just like little odds and ends that need to be taken care of. My mom gets us this beautiful jam every year from her farmer's market. And they're all these little jars. I won't use them because my new motto is I don't use small mouth jars. So now I can return these jars and I have a whole bag over here that needs to go. <laughs> okay, so I know these will not fit here. Maybe they need to go with the grain. talking about putting the fruit here. So that's my problem. Like I keep pineapple for pizza and I keep pears for breakfast canned. Um, so then if I call this the breakfast area, <laughs> does pineapple go up there or just put fruit in breakfast? I don't know. Anyway. Okay. Um, Okay, I have to remind myself. We still have way too much food. This isn't gonna be the way it looks in your head when you're done organizing it. But as you work through the food, it can be what you want it to be after you use five jars of applesauce. Okay. <clears throat> hmm. That's a baking item. Ooh. Chocolate chips are on the menu. Excellent. <clears throat> okay, so I've already designated this as veg. So then I wonder if this should be fruit.
those fit in there. Okay. Let's see. This has got to be my son's shelf. Okay. <clears throat> so I think mac and cheese and pasta goes down on the bottom. This is a snack that needs to go up on the snack shelf. July. <clears throat> One twenty six. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put things that are expiring in the next two months of here. And then I will put a card in my card system to go through seasonally. So by the end of June, summertime starts. So the end of June, I think I'm going to put down inventory pantry so I can pull out all the stuff that will expire between summer and fall. Okay. Um, 
like things we don't use a lot but I would like to use it uh, oh but it's best best before is our oh well it's best before is only a month ago so we need to find a reason to use this fudge okay okay Mayo go with the sauces? I don't know. Let's see. Fruit. Um, these are from my son's drawer. Okay, here's another one of these. Okay. All right. Four 20 ounce jars, excuse me, four 24 ounce jars of applesauce. Okay. Uh, okay. Pineapple. These are. Oh no, these are not. These, this works. Okay. This does not. 2023. Okay. This will be the other mystery. Maybe that's what I have. Maybe I have a canned meats. Okay. Because I regularly buy a case of tuna fish that we use in two months. And then maybe three months and then occasionally we get hash so we'll have meats here okay um, this is veg I think this is gonna be fruits But I don't know what I would use the sweetened condensed milk for. Because I don't I don't normally get sweet use sweetened condensed milk. I think maybe I got the wrong thing. I'll put that in my giveaway. Okay. You don't know about Lyle's golden syrup. What are you doing with your life? It's a British thing. You make a crepe style pancake at the look up British pancakes. They're less intimidating than if the title says crepe. You make British style pancakes and you put this in the middle with some butter. Oh. Okay. So my plan is going well so far. I just don't have a place for syrup. Hmm. Ooh, 2022. Still the 2012. Syrups. That is our downfall. Whole grain mustard. Mustard. Like I've got a whole case of pumpkin. Ooh. Pretty heavy, huh, guy? <laughs> Honey. Should go in a different spot. Too bad. Out of, out of date. Okay. Um. Okay, syrup. Hopefully our maple syrup will go in there. Hazelnut. 
these things. Ugh. It's concentrated fruit syrup. They do not have any dates on them. They're still clear. No, maybe they're not. I think I'm going to ditch them. That's unfortunate. Tapioca. 2023. I think I dealt with him already. Oh, applesauce. Oh, blueberry applesauce. Thank God. Okay. Blueberry applesauce. <gasps> no. <laughs> Is he here? Okay. I'll sit there for a hot minute while I... Pickles. Gone. Bye-bye. Okay. <coughs> Take care of those later. Okay. We need to make fish. Okay. All right. I kind of like that. Let me go get the labels going. I hope we get the same style of... That is just... Wunderbar. It's amazing. It's, we still need to get these. Okay, so I think this is going to work really well. We've got fruit, fruit, veg, jam, uh, PB&Js, syrup, sandwich, goop, meat, and grains and beans. Wow. Okay, now it's time to get my kiddo's shelf together. I just took care of my son's shelf here. He's got his pictures, his, a couple of his glasses, a plate. He's got another one in the dishwasher and his bowls are in the dishwasher. He's got his sodas, his crackers, his peanut, uh, popcorn, his, his chips, and his applesauce. The wind's starting to howl outside. Wow. <laughs> okay. So pantry is done inventorying. I feel good having my little guy's shelf here. He's going to be really excited. When I get my stuff together and I want to like work into my morning routine to make sure that there's a couple of cookies, a bag of chocolate, you know, something, just little, little some things. So I just need to write a card to put into my card planner for every season to go through the pantry and double check for things that are expiring for that whole season and stick them up in the upper cabinet so I can plan with them.